hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be making this beautiful battered bag so if it's something that you're interested in please keep on watching so for today's video we're going to be using this bead so they are 8 mm and we just going to need one pack of it together with our thread slash fish line right if you don't get this you can go for fish line and we're also going to need a magnetic button to, to be able to close our bag as well as scissors so you're going to take your thread and rip it on your palm about 20 times before you cut then you cut So you're going to make sure that your thread is equal right then you're going to start by adding four beads you're going to add them on any side that you prefer then you cross with the last bead that you just added then we're going to cross with this one like so then you pull So this is how they're going to be like. So we're going to go for the second one. So the second one, we're going to take three beads. Three beads. You're going to put two on the left. So this is my left and this is my right. One, two, like so. Then here we're going to put one. Then you cross. like so so we're gonna go for the third one we're still going to take three beads two on the left one on the right two beads together with one like so then you cross with the last one okay like so right so we're gonna continue the same thing until we have up to 11 so i just did nine so what i'm gonna do here i know i said we're gonna do 11 but i just want to show you how to make your 10 from here so what we're gonna do you're going to take three beads then put all of them on your left then cross with the right like so then cross with this last one like that then you pull okay so when you when you make your turn this is how it's going to be like then you're still going to take another three beads then put them on your 
left still then you cross with the last one like so then cross with the last one like that then you pull okay so this is how it is so this is how you're going to make your turns right so moving forward you're now going to take your right thread which is this one and pass it through this bead like so right then you take two beads and add them on your left then cross with the last bead like so then you pull okay like that right so it's going to continue take this thread pass it through this bead like so right take two beads one two then cross with the last bead okay so this is how it's going to be like so we're going to continue doing the same all the way through
okay so what we have here is our base right so i normally like to go with the base it's quite simpler that way so what we're gonna do now we have 31 over here meaning one two three four five six until 31 on the shorter side we have 15 right so what we're gonna do now we're going to divide this 31 into three so we're going to have 13 by 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 right and you also count and get 13 so what you must have here you must have five beads right so that's the way it's going to be the bottom of the bag right so what we're going to do we're going to take a fresh thread We're going to take a new thread then start making our side doesn't have to be too long so we're going to count again make sure that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen twelve thirteen right so we're going to be left with five in the middle so between these two beads is going to be our corner right so i'm going to take my thread okay so between number 13 and and this one of our base this is how we're going to put our thread two beads right then you can decide if you want to put your two beads on the left or right either way it's okay so i'm going to put two beads on the left then cross with the right cross with the right thread then you pull okay like so so here it's going to be our corner right so just to double track just want to double check Okay, so what we're gonna do now this thread I'm going to pass it through these beads one by one right pass it through here then pull okay then put two beads on the left so okay so here's our second one right red thread pass it through one bead from our base then put two beads So then you pull. Alright. So we're gonna continue the same way all the way through. So when we get here, we will do 10 going downwards as well. So I managed to complete this side of the bag. So what I'm gonna do now is just going to jump into the side, right? So we're going to take a fresh thread. So you're going to take your thread and you can either start from the top or the bottom either way so just make sure that you align with the other side of the corner then you go straight right so you pass your thread you pass your thread on the side of your bag right this one then also this one right you pass it through you pull so i'm going to go i've been going up and down so this time i'm gonna go this way the zigzag right so it means i'm, I'm going to use this thread to be putting two beads okay i can either 
Okay, I'm going to start putting two beads, right? So we're just going to be making few rows together. Then I complete it off camera, right? So this is how it's going to be like, right? This is how it's going to be like. Don't worry, this corner it will be straight just now. Two beads. Then pull. Pass it through. Okay, so you have to count before you pass your corner, right? So we have one, two, three, four. So it means we are making the fifth one, which is our corner, right? Take your thread, pass it through one bead. Then also this bead on the side. Like so, then you pull. Then you just add one bead. One bead and cross with the other side. So this is how it's going to be like however when we are done it's going to be straight so now I still need some support right so I'm gonna go ahead and complete this whole side right okay so I am done closing both of my sides so this is how they look so it's just five right so this thread is the one that I used to make this part as well as this one to make this part, right? So what we're going to do now, we're just going to make sure we, it, the corners, they're defined, right? So you see where I made my, my knot? I'm just going to take the other side of the thread, pass it through, okay, like so. Then I'll use two beads. Put one on this side and one on the other side then i'm going to join it over here as well just the opposite of this one on the line over here this one so i'm still using the thread that i used not a new thread one and one right like so then i'm going to use the bottom side which is the right to pass it through over here like so then it comes out okay then i'm going to make my double knot but before that i have to make sure that i pull right i pull and tie just one bleed right like so then again right so this is how it's going to be like so we're going to do this side as well pass it back then make sure you you define your corner right use two beads one on each thread like so pass it through right and this one then i make my double knot you pull right you pull and pull. 
cool okay so yeah this is how it is inside and this is how it is so what i'm going to do now i'm going to put my handle right and i have a video on how to make a handle i'll link it on the description box below kindly go and check it out on how to make a handle okay so i managed to put the side of camera so we're going to put this side together so what we're going to do we're going to take a thread see it's very small right just to join then you pass it through this bead as well as this two right like this then you pass both ends over here like this there's one bead like so then you pull as well as another one like so then you pull right then you're just going to add one bead then you cross one bead you cross with another side of the thread like so then you pull All right okay so this is how it's going to be right so what we're going to do now we're going to take one bead to join this side right We're going to join like this so we're going to take one bead pass it through this side the right side right then i'm going to pass it through one of this bead right over here just one then put another bead then cross with this side of the thread Okay, pass it through, then you pull, right? And I'm going to pass it through on the back as well as on the handle. Then I add one bead. it through here as well as on top then add one last bead one then you pull all right then over here there's already four beads i'm just going to take my thread and round it through all the four beads one two right okay as it is now i'm just going to make my double knot over here Okay, so this is how it look you see from this joint it's I joined it over here then this is the inside right so I'm just going to hide this my knot then I cut then we move to the next step okay so this is our bag so what we're gonna do next we're going to join our cover over here the one that close right so i'm just going to join it over this bit not too closer to the handle just over here
so i just finished making my cabaret so what i have here is nine instead of ten however if you make 16 here you're going to make 10 so i made 15 so it's best if you make a cover of nine right because if you shift it too closer here it it will disturb the handle right so what we have here we are now going to make our smaller block that comes here right so we're going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine right then we'll use five instead of four just to make the spacing on the side to be even so we're going to use one two three four five then we go up one two right then we start here one two three right so on this side so you're going to take your fresh thread the new one so you're going to count one two three four five right then you go up one two then you start on this row right so the third row going up one two three four five so you can start over here you're going to put your your thread over there right like so make sure that everything is equal right then you take three beads put them all of them on the left then cross with the right thread you cross with the right then you pull okay so this is how it is then you're going to do one then on the third one you're going to go that way you pass it through right so you're going to add two beads over here then you cross with the right like so then you pull right then the last one before we make our 10 two beats then you cross Okay, so this is how it is now. So we're gonna go that way, right? One bead. Two beads all the way through So this is how it is right so we're gonna go all the way through before we go on top right two beads all the way pass you pull
okay so i just finished up making my block right so what i'm gonna do now since we, i did the sides i'm just going to cover it up Okay, so here's the first one. This is how it looks right. So I'm gonna do the other ones. Like so, you pull. Okay, so this is how it look with the, just the first row. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one. Then I will make my double nut when I finish. Then we'll add the magnetic button, right? okay so that was the last bit so what i'm gonna do now as you can see over here i'm just going to take this thread just around it all these beads and come and tie it over here Okay, I'm going to make my double knot. One. And two. So this is how it is, right? This is how it is. So I'm going to make sure that I hide my thread. Okay, so this is our bag. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add, put this magnetic button over here as well as the other side over here. So guys, this is our final bag. So this is how it looks, right? Then this is the magnetic button that I put, right? So if you like this video up to so far, kindly like, share, subscribe and comment. Then I will see you on my next video.